Hi, I'm Robert Garisto, an editor for Physical Review Letters. Seven years ago, I was where you are now. It was just after summer solstice, and I was struck by the beauty of the late evening sunlight streaming into Uppsala Castle. We were here for a banquet of the Lepton Photon Conference. Several hundred of us filed into the room and quickly began choosing tables. I made a beeline for the one Frank Wilczek and Janet Conrad had chosen. I could say that I mainly wanted to hear some of Frank's deep analysis of the physics of the conference, but I was also hoping for some interesting anecdotes from the Nobel ceremony he had attended the prior fall. However, it turns out that much of my conversation was with a senior physicist sitting next to me who was unhappy with an editorial decision of mine. Fortunately, Frank and Janet became engaged in a conversation across the table, which was great fun to watch. Janet playfully asked, what if the LHC doesn't find the Higgs? Frank smiled and gave a solid theoretical argument why the LHC had to find it. But Janet persisted, what if they don't find it? Pointing out that experiment had the final word. And so they parried for quite a while until suddenly it morphed into a bet. Frank gave Janet 10 to 1 odds that the LHC would find the Higgs. The stakes? Nobel chocolate coins. They excitedly discussed the terms of the bet, which included the particles, mass, spin, discovery deadline, and of course, the chocolate. They noticed I'd been listening in and realized that as an editor for FizRev Letters, I'd make a good keeper for the bet. And so I was drafted. Someone found a memo pad, Frank wrote out the bet, and we all signed it. Fast forward to a year ago, I learned that the LHC would announce in December 2011 results which would, one way or another, point to which better would likely win. So I convinced the New York Times to let me write a story on it, and it published just in time. Two days afterward, the first rumors of the December results began to leak out. Since that time, it's become more and more clear that Frank won the bet. In July of this year, the LHC announced the great discovery of Fabiola's talk and a paper with corroborating evidence from Fermilab was accepted for publication in FizRev Letters. With that, Janet decided to concede. I think we've all had great fun with this. I want to thank Frank and Janet and all of you for turning a pleasant dinner conversation into a small piece of history. <laughs>